Hey guys, welcome to Era Basketball, and today's video is going to be talking about how to have limitless range. Now, uh, there's a couple different things you can do here, but basically what I'm trying to explain is how to have, you know, really deep range like Steph Curry without having to, you know, just chuck up your shots, you know. You still keep your form no matter how far out you go. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be able to throw up, you know, like full court shots with perfect form, but I mean, uh, you'll be able to increase your range probably to like about half court if you really practice this and uh, learn how to use it right. Now, the main thing is to have a one motion shot when you shoot. Now, one motion shot is where as you're going up for your shot, the ball never stops, never pauses anywhere. Uh, you can see right here, this is a two motion shot right here, and this is a one motion shot. Notice how in the two motion shot, the ball pauses at the top, and the one motion shot, it just keeps going, like it's a really smooth shot, and it just, uh, you know, never pauses anywhere. Basically, in a one motion shot, the power you get from your legs is transferred way better through your shot to, uh, to help you get more range. So basically, you're getting all the power from your legs, not from your arms. And a two motion shot, you jump up, all the power from your legs is gone, you basically just have to throw it up with your, uh, with your hands. So the one motion shot allows for you to get more power from your legs instead of your arms. And that'll really help make your shot a lot smoother and it'll help you increase your range. Another tip is honestly, a lot of people think that you have to jump really high on your shot. It's actually the opposite. You need to not jump as much. Cause you know, if you look at some great shooters here, None of them jump too high on their shot. In fact, Steph, if you, as you can see in this video, he barely jumps. He's basically just on his toes the entire time when he shoots. And that's because he has a one motion shot. He gets all the power from his legs and he doesn't pause anywhere. So he's able to transfer momentum thoroughly. And he doesn't need to jump too high. And if I'm going to be honest, uh, through my experience, I found that the less I jump, the more accurate my shot usually is. So, you know, just take that into consideration. But then again, everyone's different. Uh, Kobe is a really good shooter and he jumps pretty high in his shots. But he also has a two motion shot. So, uh, you know, there's always exceptions and stuff. There's a lot of great uh, two motion shooters. But, they're, first of all, they're really tall and they're really strong. But, you know, if you're not an NBA player and you're not over, you know, like six foot three, you should have a one motion shot. You should not be shooting with a two motion shot. Not only is it smoother, it'll help with your accuracy and it'll help you increase your range. And also, some people think that when you use a one motion shot, it only applies for, you know, really far shots or for threes and stuff. But I use a one motion shot on my free throw, on my mid-range, uh, just about on just any shot. So, uh, a one motion shot will really help you get more accurate shots. And I think everybody should be shooting a one motion shot. Now, in this video right here, you can see that I'm taking a shot from half court. And the shot is pretty straight. It doesn't go in, but it's straight. And my shot and my form is intact. I'm not just throwing the ball up with two hands. And in a real game, you're not going to be taking a shot from half court. If you are, I mean, congratulations. But most people aren't going to be taking shots from half court. But what I'm saying is, you know, uh, using the one motion shot, getting the power from your legs and everything, uh, it'll help you increase your range. But, um, you know, if you're, so, if you're so if I can take a shot from half court with that form intact, imagine taking it from like, you know, between half court and three point line. It'll be a much better shot. And um, it's still a really deep shot. But yeah, just don't embarrass yourself by going and taking a deep three or something, just chucking the ball up like a retard. Just uh, get your form intact, go, go, go with a one motion shot, and uh, trust me, it'll help you out a lot. But yeah, that's the video. Like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. And yeah, I'll see you in hell.